Hey, everypony! Uh, yeah, I know this episode's late, and I'm sorry about that, but I got caught up with Free Comic Book Day yesterday and seeing Captain America Civil War with a friend for his birthday. By the way, great movie, highly recommend it. Definitely the best fighting superhero movie of this summer. But I'm not here to talk about the infighting between superheroes, I'm here to talk about the infighting between the Wonderbolts. Apparently. Yeah, once again we have an episode where the Wonderbolts are cast as jerks. Granted, it's not as severe as the other times, and this is more of a hazing the new girl kind of thing, but it's really starting to make me wonder about them at this point. Like, mainly what Dash even sees in them. Seriously, she's better off on her own or just with the main six. In fact, part of the conflict of this episode was her trying to fit her style into the Wonderbolt style. Which really is what led to a lot of the problems, because being a show-off and a group of precision flyers is never a good idea. Heck, that's what led to the whole rainbow crash thing in this episode anyway. And gee, she really can't escape that name, can she? Of course, them making Crash her nickname really puts them in the jerk category again. I mean, why would any pony put up with having a nickname based on their most humiliating experience? That's just wrong. Curious to see what Spitfires is, though. Speaking of, apparently she's that pony that walks around naked in the locker room. Don't be that pony, Spitfire. No pony likes that pony. Although, does it really matter for ponies? Hmm. Speaking of the Wonderbolts locker room, was that a poster of lightning dust in the background? Why would they have that? But enough about the negatives, let's talk about the positives. Mainly the positive of Rainbow Dash trying to act like the rest of the main six. <laughs> that was glorious. Also, major props to Ashley Ball for being able to do Rainbow Dash's voice with Applejack's accent while still sounding like Rainbow Dash. That is some layered acting there that if I think about it too much is going to make my head hurt. But still, prove she has got some range. Oh, and speaking of range, it turned out that Claire Corlett and Michelle Grieber got to be extra Wonderbolts in the background. Congratulations, girl, for being able to voice other characters now. Oh, and going back to Rainbow imitating the others, where was Starlight in this episode? I mean, I don't need her to be the focus of every episode, but I feel she should be there when she's not the focus to show she is part of the group. Plus, I'm curious to see how Rainbow Dash would have tried to imitate her. It probably wouldn't have ended very well, but it'd be hilarious to watch. Honestly, my headcanon now is anytime we don't see Starlight, she's off with Trixie doing shenanigans. And I can't really think of what else to talk about in this episode. It was some good fashion fun, and not a bad outing for a new writer. I just wish we could see the Wonderbolts as protagonists for once instead of antagonists. And it's interesting to see that Rainbow Dash got her dream like Rarity got her dream last season, and neither of them were quite what they thought they would be at first. Is this a pattern emerging, or just a huge coincidence? I guess we'll have to keep watching to find out. And see how Rainbow Dash does in other Wonderbolts events. Hopefully a lot better than this one. And those are my pony thoughts for this episode. And with all this excitement, I feel like I'm forgetting something really important. Oh crap, it's Mother's Day! Yeah, I gotta go meet my mom and explain some things. Catch you guys later. And that's why I'm a mayor now. And yeah, it's been an adjustment and it's gonna be awkward for a while, but I think, uh, wait. Hold on. What? Do you mind? I'm trying to have a very awkward Mother's Day with my mom, Flamebird, here. I mean, I do have a life outside the show, you know that, right? You don't need to be a part of every facet of my freaking life. So go! Get! Sorry, Mom. This thing I do can sometimes get a little out of hoof. What are you still doing here? I said go!